Ear candling, also called ear coning or thermal auricular therapy, is a pseudoscientific alternative medicine practice claimed to improve general health and well-being by lighting one end of a hollow candle and placing the other end in the ear canal. Medical research has shown that the practice is both dangerous and ineffective and does not functionally remove earwax or toxicants, despite product design contributing to that impression. Topic. Safety and effectiveness Edzard Ernst has published critically on the subject of ear candles, noting, "...there is no data to suggest that it is effective for any condition. Furthermore, ear candles have been associated with ear injuries. The inescapable conclusion is that ear candles do more harm than good. Their use should be discouraged." According to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration US FDA, ear candling is sometimes promoted with claims that the practice can «purify the blood» or «cure» cancer, but that Health Canada has determined the candles have no effect on the ear, and no health benefit, instead they create risk of injury, especially when used on children. In October 2007, US FDA issued an alert identifying ear candles, also known as ear cones or auricular candles, as dangerous to health when used in the dosage or manner or with the frequency or duration prescribed, recommended, or suggested in the labeling thereof. Since the use of a lit candle in the proximity of a person's face would carry a high risk of causing potentially severe skin, hair burns and middle ear damage." A 2007 paper in the journal Canadian Family Physician concludes, Ear candling appears to be popular and is heavily advertised with claims that could seem scientific to lay people. However, its claimed mechanism of action has not been verified, no positive clinical effect has been reliably recorded, and it is associated with considerable risk. No evidence suggests that ear candling is an effective treatment for any condition. On this basis, we believe it can do more harm than good and we recommend that GPs discourage its use. A 2007 paper in American Family Physician said, Ear candling also should be avoided. Ear candling is a practice in which a hollow candle is inserted into the external auditory canal and lit, with the patient lying on the opposite ear. In theory, the combination of heat and suction is supposed to remove earwax. However, in one trial, ear candles neither created suction nor removed wax and actually led to occlusion with candle wax in persons who previously had clean ear canals. Primary care physicians may see complications from ear candling including candle wax occlusion, local burns, and tympanic membrane perforation. The Spokane Ear, Nose, and Throat Clinic conducted a research study in 1996 which concluded that ear candling does not produce negative pressure and was ineffective in removing wax from the ear canal. Several studies have shown that ear candles produce the same residue when burnt without ear insertion and that the residue is simply candle wax and soot. As of 2008, there are at least two cases in which people have set their houses on fire while ear candling, one of which resulted in death. A survey of ENT surgeons found some who had treated people with complications from ear candling. Burns were the most common. Topic. Procedure One end of a cylinder or cone of waxed cloth is lit, and the other is placed into the subject's ear. The flame is cut back occasionally with scissors and extinguished between 5 and 10 cm from the subject. The subject is lying on one side with the treated ear uppermost and the candle vertical. The candle can be stuck through a paper plate or aluminium pie tin to protect against any hot wax or ash falling onto the subject. Another way to perform ear candling involves the subject lying face up with the ear candle extending out to the side with a 45 degree upward slant. A dish of water is placed next to the subject under the ear candle. 
Proponents claim that the flame creates negative pressure, drawing wax and debris out of the ear canal, which appears as a dark residue. An ear candling session lasts up to one hour, during which one or two ear candles may be burned for each ear. Topic product regulations in Europe Some ear candles bear the CE mark 9340 seconds, EEC, though they are mostly self-issued by the manufacturer. This mark indicates that the device is designed and manufactured so as not to compromise the safety of patients, but no independent testing is required as proof. While ear candles are widely available in the U.S., selling or importing them with medical claims is illegal. This means that one cannot market ear candles as products that diagnose, cure, treat, or prevent any disease. In a report, Health Canada states there is no scientific proof to support claims that ear candling provides medical benefits. However, there is plenty of proof that ear candling is dangerous. It says that while some people claim to be selling the candles for entertainment purposes only, the Canadian government maintains that there is no reasonable non medical use, and hence any sale of the devices is illegal in Canada. In a paper published by Edzard Ernst in Journal of Laryngology and Otology, the cost of practicing ear candling according to the recommended frequency of use is estimated. As each candles costs $3.15 USD adjusted for inflation, the annual cost of the treatment would amount to $982 USD also adjusted for inflation. The author calls the continued practice of the treatment a triumph of ignorance over science, or perhaps a triumph of commercial interests over medical reasoning. Origin. Although Biosun, a manufacturer of ear candles, refers to them as Hopi ear candles, there is no such treatment within traditional Hopi healing practices. Vanessa Charles, public relations officer for the Hopi Tribal Council, has stated that ear candling is not and has never been a practice conducted by the Hopi tribe or the Hopi people. The Hopi tribe has repeatedly asked Biosun, the manufacturer of Hopi ear candles, to stop using the Hopi name. Biosun has not complied with this request and continues to claim that ear candles originated within the Hopi tribe. Many advocates of ear candles claim that the treatment originates from traditional Chinese, Egyptian, or North American medicine. The mythical city of Atlantis is also reported to be the origin of this practice. Topic. See also Ear pick List of ineffective cancer treatments <laughs>